Okay, fitting up a, uh, and make some uh, changes to these uh, steel wheels. Uh, and again, this is a go-kart, and it's not a cycle cart, but a lot of these ideas apply to either one, you know. And uh, what I'm doing here is uh, these steel wheels come straight through with a one inch bore. And I uh, like the hubs we use on the cycle carts. I like to have uh, I like to have them bolt on to the uh, three quarter inch uh, thread on the axle. Uh, typically, it looks to me like what they do on the go carts is they just put a spacer between uh, the the wheel and the apparently the bearing, uh, the axle bearing, and just put a spacer between there, and then they just tighten the nut up. And that's how they sandwich the, uh, the wheels on the go-karts. Uh, I don't like that at all. Uh, so what I've done is uh, what I've seen other people do on the go-karts is I've, I've taken the, uh, the, the one inch bore wheel and uh, made a spacer to go in here, a reducer to go in here, and then welded the, uh, welded the uh, reducer into the, the hub. And uh, that's fine and dandy, <laughs> but it needs to line up. The two of them have to be concentric. Now, I have a lathe, so I do a lot of my work on the lathe, and I, you know, everything is bored, you know, within a, a, a mill or two. And, uh, but when you weld it up, it warps a little bit. There's no change in that. So you have to kind of open it up a little bit. Now, this can be applied to something like this. It can be, uh, this can be used on your, your spindles for your, if you're building your own spindles or you're working on your spindles or building an axle, you might want to ream out or line up the holes after you've welded them and stuff. And uh, just drilling things out to the next drill size is, is not the best idea. That's just, that's not precision. and. Uh, eventually within you know by the end of the season everything's going to be loose and wobbling all over the place so the more precise you can make your holes the better off you are and the longer it'll last so to do that uh, what I do uh, for instance on the uh, the uh, pivots for the uh, foot pedals also the uh, the uh, sp the uh, spindles, as I, I drill or machine them on size, and then I use a reamer to ream them out. And uh, a lot of times, you can't get in with a uh, with, with a reamer. For instance, on these, uh, I, I've uh, I've reamed these out to three quarter, but the problem here is. They're not perfectly aligned. And even though this is on size, and uh, you know, my, my three-quarter reamer will, will go through there as, as will the bolt, the axle, it's not absolutely perfectly in line. So you still have to open it up a little bit in order to get it perfectly lined up. And what I what I do uh, when I don't have the right size, sometimes if the hole's big enough, you can use a, uh, uh, a wheel cylinder hung, but that'll only go down to about, a, about an inch or so. Anything under that, you're kind of, uh, kind of out of luck. What I do is uh, just make, take a wooden block, a wooden uh, uh, dowel, put a split in it, and then put a piece of, uh, of uh, emery in it use that for my for my reamer and it doesn't last very long 
that each the grid off of there pretty quick. But I uh, I use uh, cut a lot of strips when I'm doing something like this. So you can change them up pretty quick. times like that and that'll clean up your hole and line things up a little bit better than, than, uh, than taking a drill and open it up with a drill. So hope that might help somebody. You can make these in about any size you want, you know, if you've got a small hole, a three-eighths hole or a quarter-inch hole that you need to ream out, you just take a wooden dowel and put a split in it and uh, Cut yourself a few strips of, uh, of emery and there you go, you make any size you want. There's the wheel that wouldn't uh, that I was reaming out over there, and uh, they would not go on the axle. They go about halfway on, and then they start to they they start to feel a bind in there, and you could probably hammer it on, but then you'd have a hell of a time hammering it off. So uh, I'll run my uh, sandpaper reamer through there a few times, and uh, now we've got a nice a nice. Precise fit, there's no slop whatsoever in it. And uh, and uh, I don't have to worry about it wiggling around and shaking loose and uh, developing a lot of slop later on. So again, you can use that in any number of places where you need to do a little reaming. And, uh, and you don't have an expensive reamer for it.